Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. The Nasdaq Composite climbed more than 1% on Tuesday as investors flocked back to tech stocks in the final days of what's been a difficult August for the market. Overall, the tech-heavy index gained 1.74%. The S&P 500 climbed 1.45%, its best day since June the 2nd. The Dow Jones Industrial Average added 0.85%. Chipmaker NVIDIA led the charge of rising tech stocks with a gain of more than 4%. Shares of Meta platforms, Tesla, Apple and Microsoft all ended the day higher. AT&T rose 3.9% after Citi upgraded the stock and said the telecom giant would be able to afford its hefty dividend. Elsewhere, shares of Best Buy added 3.8% after the retailer reported an earnings beat. The two-year Treasury yield tumbled as much as 16 basis points as consumer sentiment data came in softer than expected at 106.1. Economists polled by Dow Jones forecast a 116 reading. Elsewhere, the latest job openings and labour turnover survey showed a decline in open listings in July, another sign of a cooling economy. And Bitcoin jumps as Grayscale wins the lawsuit against the SEC in a significant turn of events. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit ruled that the SEC was wrong in denying investment giants Grayscale's request to convert its popular Bitcoin trust GBTC into an ETF. Coinbase climbed 15%. In commodity news, in Q1 2023, Chilean mining costs surged 29% year-on-year due to diminished ore quality, elevated expenses for wages, energy and refinery fees, driven by lower oil grades and project delays. The current El Nino event could worsen the impact of India's rice export ban and Russia's exit from the Black Sea grain deal on global food prices, potentially leading to inflation in emerging markets starting in September. El Nino is expected to bring intense heat to parts of South Asia and Central America, along with heavy rainfall along the Andes. Turning to US sectors now, all close higher overnight. Communication services, cons consumer discretionary and tech, all closed above 2%. And lastly, amid increasingly financial pressure on China's real estate sector, Country Garden, one of the country's major private property developers, has asked for a 40-day extension on maturing renminbi bond reflecting the ongoing challenges despite recent government pledges of support. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.7% gain. Thank you for listening.